So <clears throat> the sheep, the lambs and ebony were moved into this pen because they'd finished their meal. But the alpaca hadn't finished theirs. And so I had to let the horses in before the rain and the wind comes. Come on, Miss Daisy Rose. Good girl. At a girl. Go on. At a girl. Go on. Go on, you can do it. Come on. Come on. You're stuck halfway. She's stuck halfway. Partially it's because this person is not be is being rude to her. Anyway. Um so before the rain comes, arrives. Come on, why don't you get in? Go on. Go on. Atta girl. Go on. There we go. You're in. Out of the rain as the rain starts to fall. You guys are in. And Blackbird has finished her meal. I've got to take this bucket out. And I put it here. Otherwise the sheep will break it. Now. This gate is now open. So I let the sheep in another way. A gate, a yard with many gates and many little pens is an excellent thing. So, unhook here. And come on, girls. In you go. Come on. There we go. Now they're rushing in to see if they can snag any alpaca food. Because the alpacas are very slow eaters. So I've got to lock this gate here. Oh, and the rain is only just arriving. Okay, so those are done. And yay, just before the rain. How are you, Crystal? How are you, sweetie? Yes, you good girl. Yes. You think she's getting extra food, she's not. She's getting a glove on her head. And that's Kestrel. Yes, you just want attention, don't you? You just want attention. You're such a sweetie. You're such a sweetie. Look at her glossy face. You know she's healthy. Nice glossy face in this camera's light. Okay, whoops. I nearly chip, tripped over that. I've got to put the yard back to rights for tomorrow morning. See, this is partially I have to do this. There, that's dropped because that keeps the horses coming in this direction. And here we go. Thread the thread the needle. Uh, sometimes these things Going, doing one-handed is not very easy. See? There we go. Job done. And the rain is coming down now. The horses are starting to eat the hay. You'd think they didn't have a bale out in the yard or out in the field, but they do. So everybody's eating the bales and it's raining and the dogs are cleaning up 
the horse's leftover foods that they dropped. Okay, the rams have been fed as well. Now, I'm going in before the storm. Isn't that right, Crystal? She's turning into a, a huge ewe. She's still growing. You can see they do a thing. They go, the back end goes up, the front end catches up, the back end goes up, and she's doing a back end up at the moment. And it's really funny because they look like camels. They go whoop, whoop, whoop when their sheep are growing. But the same with horses and cows. They don't grow uniformly front and back. The back always grows and then the front catches up. Anyway, there we go. Heads deep. Deep in the bale of hay.